गाइज वेलकम बैक सो दिस इज़ माई गूगल एस डी आर प्लस रेडमी ऑन द रेडमी नो थ्री एंड दिस इज़ द बेस्ट कैमरा ऐप यू कैन गेट फॉर रेडमी नो थ्री राइट नाउ फॉर एनी कस्टम रॉम्स यू कैन सिम्पली इंस्टॉल दिस ऐप वाई ए पी के एंड यू डोंट नीड टू फ्लैश इट सो ओपनिंग द ऐप इट सेल्फ दिस इज हाउ द कैमरा इंटरफेस लुक्स लाइक एंड यू कैन स्विच बिटवीन द रेयर एंड फ्रंट कैमरा बाई क्लिकिंग ऑन द लेफ्ट बॉटम बटन एंड नाउ यू मे फेस प्रॉब्लम लाइक कैमरा हैज स्टॉप एंड इट्स अ मेजर इशू so you just have to open that app again and now swiping left you get options like panorama photosphere lens blur and settings and on the top you get options like timer hdr plus which you can turn on and off and then you have the grid lines and then the auto balance and then you have flash on and off so going over to the settings you get options like quality settings and then the back camera is also provided with 30 frames per second 4k which was not available in MIUI so this is also a great thing and the next feature that i like about this is that it has focus locking so you can lock the subject focus and then take the photo so that is also a great thing and this is how the photo looks like Uh, I know the object is not focused but it really works and you can also increase or decrease the exposure of the object after focusing as in MIUI taking the photo takes about 2 to 3 seconds to process the HDR plus and once the photo is taken that too takes around 2 to 3 seconds to process the HDR so after that this is how the image looks like that is perfect it's better than what I feel the stock camera on this could take taking an artificial light you can get images like this another feature you have in this is the double tap to zoom in and out so just double tap and you can zoom really in and again double tap you can zoom out so i thought of taking this to the next level and i took the redmi note 4 and started to compare with the miui camera and this is how it turned to be so this is a photo taken on the redmi note 3 and this is a photo taken on redmi note 4 So comparing it side by side you can see that the Redmi Note 4 colors are much more vivid and that of Redmi Note 3 is not that bad but it can be little more tweaked by using the editing apps but it turns out better than the stock camera itself so that's what I like about this and look at this shot the last one is of Redmi Note 3 and it is and it's good in exposure whereas the Redmi Note 4 is overexposed so this is what I like in Google camera you don't have the problem of over expose like in MIUI so now we can compare between yourself the left is for Redmi Note 3 and right is for Redmi Note 4 So Redmi Note 3 might not have won against Redmi Note 4 but I can say that Redmi Note 3 has surely reached up to the Redmi Note 4 level and you can take some decent photos with this using this camera So that's pretty much it for this video if you enjoyed it make sure to hit a thumbs up and thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video stay tuned